Hello, Tuckheads. Today, we are trying Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew. And Berry Plum. It's Purple Thunder. Purple Thunder. It's, it's, a, it's a limited edition. I, I, I'm not sure if it's out at like all the convenience stores now, but I think it was... Uh, uh, what is an exclusive or whatever so this one's kind of fun i can't wait to try it they also have it in some of the fountains which is cool and you folks all know what like dallas said what this stuff is and i'm sure you've seen some of the taste tests already but the flaming hot mountain dew and, and it has a caution there's a caution label on it, believe it or not, folks. So we're going to try that fun stuff. And, of course, we have um, not done one of these in a while. But now you're done with school. It's summertime. We can do videos. We can have fun. We can do whatever you want. We can go fishing. We're going to go to the cabin soon on 25th. Can't wait. It's going to be fun. After one weekend. Yep. It's going to be a great time. But, Saturday. hey, we're going to try some of this soda. And I told Dallas we'd try the... The berry plum purple thunder first because um, the hot one's probably not going to be the most fun for mm -hmm. that kid. Okay. Uh, this one here is 270 calories in the whole bottle. If you guys want to pause it and look at some of the um, information there and the ingredients here, I'll zoom in for you guys. Focus. There you go. You can pause that if you want. And then, of course, here is the Flamin' Hot. And that one, same thing. It's diesel. It's got all the calories, all the sugar. I don't think they make a diet in this. If you want to pause that, too, you can see some of the uh, ingredients there in the uh, Flamin' Hot, too. So we're going to try both of these here as we will first try the purple thunder, like Bubs and I said. So let's try that first, pal. We're gonna crack it open. Here we go, ready? Here. Can you smell it? Here. No, it, it looks like it looks like purple Kool-Aid. It does look like purple Kool-Aid. He's right, it looks like purple Kool-Aid. But I don't think it's gonna taste like purple Kool-Aid. It might, I don't know, but berry plum flavor. So I'm gonna... Tastes like a Yankee candle. A Yankee candle? I, I don't like a lot of these do flavors with these weird twisty berry-ish citrus flavor. I just... No. What's a Yankee candle? You know those really stinky candles mom gets? The really you can really smell them. They smell like Christmas trees or berries or yeah, Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> those ones, yes, those Yankee candles. We're always looking for sponsorship Yankee candles. I'm just saying. Uh, anyway, so what do you think? I, what are you gonna give this one? The Purple Thunder. What are you going with for Purple Thunder? Probably out of 10? like seven. Seven. It's, it was kind of good. It, it's It's got a really sharp, like, bite or something on the front end. And, and a lot of times, I don't like that bite on the front end. And it seems like a lot of these Mountain Dew special flavors, especially, like I said, the berry flavors, the red, white, and Dew one, that one, same thing. It's got that weird front flavor, and I just don't like it. Um, I'm going to give it a three. Sorry, Dew. So... Three. I, I don't taste plum. Anyway. All right, let's try the fire. Give it up. Let's see it. This. Yes, this. It's going to be ready? dangerous. I'm. Dangerous. Dangerous, baby. Yeah. I'm going to run around. Okay, what? I'm going to run around like Sonic the Hedgehog because like, I have it on my shirt if this thing is super spicy. Sonic. We'll see. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Flaming hot no, 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 soda. No, 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 no. Go. Oh god. Oh no, no. It's not bad. It smells like code red. What the heck is that? It, Probably, it smells like it, it smells. It, it, it smells I, like code red. So I, I wonder if this is bit. if this is not a 
a code red with some kind of um, hotness to it. It doesn't smell hot. I don't smell any pepper or anything weird. I really don't. First time I've been trying my Here we go. Stuff. Ready? One, two, three, go. What? Oh, God. What? Oh, yeah, it's really there's nothing wrong. This is up. There's nothing. Oh, wait a minute. There's no spicy. Why am I froze now? Oh no. Yeah, yeah, okay, Bob. Oh, hey, it's that's not even bad. You eat firecracker chicken at at Leanne Chin all the time. I mean that this is not even close. This is this is decent. i I drink this. It's got a little peppery aftertaste, and when it goes down like here, you kind of start ah. to feel it. But it's not as dramatic as Mr. Drama is making it out to be. For you folks that really do indeed like spicy food, spice, you know, um, other pepper flavored drinks, um, non-alcoholic and otherwise, I'm just saying that, that this stuff might go good with some other things. Um, I, let's just leave it that for this particular audience, but it's got a little after effect, but it's not that bad. I, I don't see how people can necessarily drink it in the 12 packs like I've seen it. I mean, this is like a novelty thing where, yeah, I'd get a bottle of it and just have it and have my friends drink it and my wife drink it. We gotta have, we're gonna let mom try this too when she gets out of that. Nope. Yeah, okay. Give me right. numbers now. Uh, I, I, I personally am going to go with an eight. No, I'm not. I'm going to say seven. It's not that I like it. I really like the concept. And there's a lot of, um, you know, coffees and teas and stuff that capitalize on cayenne pepper, right? And maybe it's properties and healing and things like that. Well, a soda's not going to do that, but I think it's kind of cool that they capitalized on the heat stuff. So I'm just going to ah. say seven because it's not a bad soda, and I, and I think the spiciness is, is really not that bad. I'd love to hear what you think about this. Zero out of ten. No. It's too spicy in my throat. I can't handle it. No. I do not like it. For kids eight and under, I don't recommend it. For big kids, I'd just give it a try. Just to say you tried it. It's not mm -hmm. bad. And like I said, maybe you can uh, mix it up if you know what I mean. You know. Yeah, you know. Okay. That's going to do it for us. Should we do another video soon? We're going to do some candy coming up here. How We're going to do some more fun, and we'll about, talk about that. Uh, how, about, how about right now? Well, maybe right now we'll do it. We'll have to talk to you guys soon. We want to thank you guys for tuning in. Tuck Daddy Productions. We'll be back with another video very soon. Thanks, Mountain Dew Company.